All right, hey guys, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Ash Gray. Here we are in the forest of misfortune and other wonderful amounts of sauce and poultry. Poultry is always pretty good. So anyways, before we leave this place, why don't we go ahead and just train up a little. Say hello to the wonderful family of beetles that are coming around and stealing your Pokemon. It's a terrible, terrible plight amongst many people, but apparently it just happens to be a thing. I gotta go ahead and make sure that our friends are fully equipped with the most oh you oh yeah he has shed skin too which is awesome which means when i get poisoned i have a chance to get rid of it which is great beyond great actually i do also need to train up pikachu because we are coming up upon him a problematic situation that may at some point in time screw us over which is not something i want to have happen so obviously you can understand excuse me my fear and remote amounts of sauce I, I gotta keep saying that, it's just, it's a great, great thing to have. It's a lot of, a lot of wonderful things that come with that, such as dressing and ancient Egyptian artifacts that are found nowhere near my place, nowhere anywhere in my city, in my friend's city, or even somewhere around the bend. The, like, the beach maybe? I think the beach is a cool place. There you go. I should probably heal. So you know what, why don't we just head to Pewter City? In the hope that we can one day- Hello! Hi! Flint's Rock Shop! Rock su- Oh. I'd love to have a- Pewter City is gray! The color of stone! This town has always been famous for stone! Like Stephen Stone? The name's Flint, and you're standing on some of my merchandise, young man. Oh yeah, this is a rocks. Wanna buy some? Sure! <laughs> Never mind. Maybe, you know, like a leaf stone or something. Ha! <laughs> Don't tell me you plan on challenging Brock the Pewter City gym leader. Ha! <laughs> you really think- uh Wait, what'd you say? Whoops. Uh... Just a second. Good luck with challenging Brock. Ha ha ha. Oh. Well, thank you. Is that rock climb? Do I have to rock climb in this? Ah, oh, rock climb. Oh well. Anyways, here we are in Pewter City. Look at that. Ah, uh, Pokemon Center looks so cool. So amazingly awesome. Hey, your Chansey's there. Wait, is Chansey always there? I feel like... I feel like she isn't, but I could just be forgetting things, because sometimes my eyes just don't show me things. One of which happens to be Chansey being right there, so most of the time I kind of forget. But it's okay, because I I forgive most of all. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just train up everyone to level 10. That'd be nice, just nice, you know, moving around at the speed of sound, got places to go, eventually we'll get there. That's, that's how the song goes, at least how I remember it. So as you can tell, my memory is fairly lacking, but I don't know, sometimes it sometimes it happens to be the case. Oh, you're attacking your child. That's terrible. Why would you do that? Well, probably because I'm telling you to. See, that's where the whole viciousness of Pokemon comes into play. Attacking your friends, your families, and occasionally some artificial intelligence that is made up of computers and DOS. DOS, Microsoft, and the old Nanny Tootendars. Alright, we got 10, which is great. So now all we need is our little Metapod to get to 10. Which is probably the most wonderful thing that can happen. I don't know if it's actually the most wonderful thing. I'm sure that there are many other wonderful things that could possibly happen. I just don't know at the moment what they are, but that's okay. You know, I could have gone to that little girl to heal, and then we could have been to Pure City and been like, Whoa, this place is new! But no, we're just gonna, we're just gonna continue this, this situation. Okay, so he's poisoned. But I think it's just better if I just get into battle and hope that he shed skins. Unless he faints. Which would be beyond terrible. Oh my goodness. Wait, should I? I should tackle. I should tackle. Okay. Shed skin? Nope. Not, that's not gonna happen. Oh no, this is terrible. I need to go heal. I need to heal. Oh, be right back. Healing. And by be right back, I mean we're gonna go over this way. Oh, well at least we're still getting into battles. Which is remotely good. Not too good, but a little bit of both. Kind of like sausage. See, I didn't say sauce this time. I decided to... Oh no, Steve! Oh. That sucks. Hey, you want to rest me? Thank you. Leave my cabin. Did you say novice? It's not my fault that that Beedrill took... I got Steve back. Why are you so mad? Why you have to be so mad? I don't know. It's the anger that's flowing through your veins. Specifically your veins. It's like flowing there. You just don't understand why, but... Everyone knows exactly what we're talking about. Okay, so we're almost there. Almost to Pewter City. We haven't been training this entire time. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> I better switch out. There we go. I'm glad I got- I'm glad I got myself my Pidgeotto. It's nice. I'm gonna miss a bunch. That's how this works. That's exactly how this works. And Steve, you grew to 10! Awesome! That's great. Oh my goodness, I didn't see this coming. Yeah. 
And here we have it. Oh, he looks so cool. Is this how he looked in Fire Red? I feel like the, um, excuse me, the sprite is a bit different. Looks great. Hey, learn Sleep Powder. Just like the Animu. All right, so we can head our way to Pierce City, heal ourselves up, and take on the gym leader that is Brack. Brack. He's a kind of kind of cool guy. Has a very interesting name, but I don't know how it actually works out. Would you like me to heal your Pokemon? Yes, I would. Thank you. Awesome. That's how it feels. Feels great. Man, I need a... I wish I could just post the anime on YouTube and just, like, talk over it. That's, that's really what I want to start making videos of. Just the an- Oh, hey, look, this- Your roof is disgusting. I wanna- I'd like to mention how disgusting your roof is. Anyways, I guess we're ready to take on the gym leader. I don't know for sure. Maybe? Hey, Brack, how's it going? Who goes there? My name is Brock. Oh. That was Brack, sorry. I'm the leader of the Pokemon gym. This is your first gym battle in that peak oh, your Pikachu gets in cutest is in its cutest stage. It can't win. As gym leader, I have to accept every challenge, so let's get this over with. Wow, that's so mean. I thought you were a nice guy, Brack. I mean Brock. I'm gonna call you Brack. Okay. Well, we have Onyx. What a nice guy. Alright, so we have Steve here. Look at him. Aw, he's so cute. I'm gonna put you to sleep. Nope, I am instead going to die. Um, I mean faint, sorry, I forget. I keep thinking it's a Nuzlocke, so... If it was a Nuzlocke, then this would be over now, because... I guess you kinda know how this works. Um, try- Nope! Oh, you missed! Haha, <laughs> take that! I could probably beat you with just, like... Oh, what's it called? Sand attack. Alright, well, you know... I didn't really think- Wow, you took that? Jeez, great job, Jet. I guess, you know, airplanes are part steel, so... Right now, Pidgeotto is steel and flying. He's a Skarmory. Oh no! This is terrible. It's actually beyond horrible. Um, at least we have Pikachu here. I'm sure you can do damage because I have nothing other than Thundershock. Are you gonna live this? I hope so. Oh, you did. Oh, and Thundershock works! You might think, why? Well, we'll all find out in due time. Tackle. Really? He just wanted to finish it off with a tackle. Didn't want to waste his PP. Onyx, come back. No. Oh. Stop, I don't want to hurt your Pikachu. Let's call this a draw. How, how is it a draw? You just beat me. I lost money. That's terrible. Well, your Pokemon aren't strong enough to pose a threat to me. Come back when you've grown. Aw. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess I should. I gotta go do some intense training. Hey! How are you? Come with me. Oh. This is intense. I guess this is the intense training that we're talking about, because this music just popped in. This is the Elite Four music. This is where things happen. Real things happen. Everyone loses sometimes, you can't let that get you down. Brock is very good, his talents could take him much further than just being the local gym leader. But Brock has ni nine little brothers and sisters to take care of, so he ne could never leave town for regional championships. His good-for-nothing father left the family to become a Pokemon trainer, they never heard from him. Aww. His heartbroken mother tried her best to hold things together, but sadly she pa- Aww. This is sad. Brock's the only one his little brothers and sisters have. So you think you can beat Brock? I may just know a way that you can supercharge your Pikachu. This is the town's hydroelectric plant, follow me. Oh. Oh, we're doing this? The river turns the wheel to generate electricity. Whoa, what happened to the intense music? I believe that generated some excess power at one time and it formed itself into a high energy ball. I'm sure this ball could give your Pikachu a power boost. Here, take it. Oh, we got the light ball, which is awesome because it increases Pikachu's special attack. With that light ball, your Pikachu should have a shot taking- Aw. Good luck, kid. What's with everyone saying kid? That feels so- I guess it's- I guess in the way he's saying it's endear, right? Oh. Well, thank you. Now, let's check this out. Let's see a light ball. I like we have the light ball now. An orb to be held by a Pikachu that raises- Yeah, look at that. Oh, I didn't mean to- Oh, it's okay. It's okay, I got this. You know, what is my- What are my natures and whatnot? Let's check that out. Check out for a second. Let's see. Steve, what do you have? Please, modest. Quirky. I don't know what that does. Lax, I don't know what that does either. And calm. That increases special attack, I think. Or is it special defense and removes attack? I don't know. It does something. I don't know what it does. I can, I forget. But anyways to take on Brock. All right, well, now we have to go take on Brock again, because that's how it works. You know, I really wish we could have Misty following us around. That'd be fun. She'd be like, hey, how's it going, guys? Or be part of the dialogue, at least, just randomly popping up. Uh, I guess I'm gonna buy some potions, just in case. 
Gotta make sure. I mean, I know this is... I'm supposed to win, but we gotta make sure that we get this. We get this down to a count. And gotta have some Pokeballs, just in case we come upon any more Pokemon in our journey. Anyways, did my Pokemon heal? Well, I guess they all fainted, so... They're probably healed. That's good enough. Let's go into the gym. Hey, Brock. How are you? Ugh. I don't know if I can... It was such a sad, sad story. No, I need more potions. Alright, well, I was gonna get some more potions, but then Misty kind of yelled at me and told me to just come here and do it. But, oh, well, haven't you learned your lesson yet? No. Your Pikachu is no match for me. You may think you're ready to challenge me, but I can tell you're still a novice. As gym leader, though, I must accept all challenges, so let's get this over with. Let the match begin. Well, I guess that is. Here he is with his vest. Brack. Is that like a vest? It feels like a... It doesn't feel like a vest. I don't know. But it doesn't have the whole vest thing to it. I mean, it kind of does, but it seems a little bit different. It feels like it feels like there should be something before vest instead of just vest. All right. So unfortunately, Pikachu does no damage. I guess I'll just send him Pikachu. <laughs> well, he has a light ball, so hopefully he does do damage. Uh, he just woke up, which sucks. Which that's gonna take me out. That's actually really unfortunate. Let's go ahead and send Jet then. That's that's gonna suck. Pikachu, you need to do things. You can't just be, you know, lackluster. Oh hey, look, you do damage. Cool. Alright, that's awesome. Hopefully oh that does nothing. Nothing at all. And using defense curl. So I guess my best bet here is to sand attack. And I know that sounds horrible, but that really is my best bet here. Just to d d deduct his accuracy and at least Tackle has a 95 already, so there's a little bit of accuracy loss on that. Go ahead and try and do this to Geodude. I do have some potions, so hopefully... Because he still has a second Pokemon. He still has his Onyx, which would be a bit of a problem. Actually, it is a problem. It's a gigantic problem. So that's okay. I'm just going to keep Sand attacking. I don't know how many... Well, actually, I can check how many I've used, but... Just got to make sure you can keep Defense curling all you want, but you can't. All the time. Well, there we go. That's five. That should work out, hopefully. I don't know for sure. And I guess we might as well just put him to sleep again. We do need to heal these guys because, um, it's a problem. Okay, who cool. he missing? He keeps missing. Just, just keep up with this missing. There you go. Put yourself to sleep. That's awesome. Good job, Steve. You do this. You do this well too. All right. Well. You have potions. So I'm gonna put one on Pikachu for now. And I probably need one on Jet. I'm just gonna leave Butterfree in for now so I can put him back to sleep. I mean, this is, you know, see, this is a lot more strategy than Ash ever did. I am totally role playing Ash improperly. Right now, I should be trying to do things like, I don't know, tackle a Geodude. Well, I'm doing it. I guess this is what Ash would do. <laughs> in the moves of Ash, what would you do? I would tackle continuously. This sucks. He actually had like a five sleep or whatever. Okay, well that's fine. Just gonna go ahead and put him back to sleep. Pikachu's a little bit weak here, but luckily he didn't use Mud Sport because he does have Mud Sport, which would weaken my power. Which really suck. Okay, so let's go and send him Pikachu again. Now we can a we can actually use Thunder Shock and stuff like that. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, I don't have Thunderbolt though. Which would be, which would make this a lot easier if I had Thunderbolt, but I don't. I only have Thunder Shock. All right, we're doing well. Just it took a bunch of potions, some sand attacks, and some sleep powders, but we're working. We're working well. Don't wake up. Don't tackle me. Miss. I'll use Mud Sport. Really? Wow. That's just mean. That is actually mean. I think he's gonna live too because of that. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, use the fence scroll though, so that's fine. All right, we didn't take didn't take that much damage. I only think Butterfree has a bit of damage on him, which is okay. It's not too bad. Anyways, there we have it. Taking down his first Pokemon, which took about 15 minutes. That's fine. <laughs> no one's leveling up from that. Ah, oh, Pikachu's electricity has set off the sprinklers. No matter, let's finish this match. Oh my goodness, the sprinklers! Hey, hey. two, four, six, eight. Okay, it's nine. Just want to make sure. Leave Onyx alone, our brother worked hard to raise it, you big bully! Stop it, all of you. This is an official match, we're going to finish it no matter what. Let the match commence! Alright, well, I don't have any... 
I don't have any uh, revives. And I think he can one-shot Pikachu. He can also one-shot Steve. It doesn't even matter that he can one-shot Steve, because Steve already has some damage on him. Come on, Sleep Powder. Oh my goodness, any outspeeds. Okay. Just take a second here. Just take a second. I'm gonna calm down. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna paralyze him. We are going to paralyze. I'm sure that's how this should work. Alright, sorry about that. Anyways, I need to paralyze him. Okay, this really, really sucks. Okay, I already need to heal. That's unfortunate. Okay, so he's paralyzed now. And I think what I need to do next is I need to growl him. Okay, this is so much more... I, I just want to really emphasize the fact that this is a... This is a... Uh, so, so much more strategy than Ash ever had to use. I mean, all he had to do was hope that he busted up the sprinklers and use a few thunderbolts, but I only have thundershock and growl. He's rock throwing. It kind of sucks. Just a little bit. I can probably live one more. I'm gonna keep growling him. Just to get his damage down. He's paralyzed again, which is really, really good. Okay, that's awesome. That is very, very, very awesome. And growl some more. Just gotta keep doing what you do is good. And seven. Okay, I really need to heal here. It's not good. Oh, okay, it's a good thing that I bought those potions. If I didn't buy those potions, I would have been really scrupled. Really, really. Okay, so he's paralyzed here. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna growl him some more. Really need to keep his damage low. And hopefully, he gets paralyzed again. You screech. Really? Well, that is, that is beyond hor- that is horrible. Okay, that's terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna switch to Jet here. Okay. <laughs> that is horrible! Okay, he's paralyzed, which is awesome. I mean, he is one less on the growl, but that's fine. I'm gonna sand attack him now. This is what I'm gonna do. This is my- this is my Pokemon Stadium- <laughs> My Pokemon Stadium strats. It's just like sand attack and stuff. Okay, it's not doing too much damage. He's just 10. That's super effective too, so... It's not that bad. I'm gonna keep sand attacking though. Because I really need him to miss a bunch and get paralyzed. Just all this stuff here. There we go. That paralyzation miss is awesome. We got this. I'm sure we got this. Oh, this is this is way too much strategy to lose. Like Ash Ash had nothing on this. He had just oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that I bust up the sprinklers, get everything a little wet. That was his plan. You know what mine is? Mine is convoluted and completely filled with things that do not need to happen whatsoever. Well, I don't know if I just want to straight up switch. Okay, so he's in a good spot. In a pretty good spot. What's he gonna do? He's paralyzed, which is awesome. Rain continued to fall. I don't know if I want to switch into Pikachu right now, though. I mean, if I switch into Pikachu... Um... Okay, actually, I kind of need Jet just in case he screeches. Because... If that happens, then he just rock throw, which is only going to do... Okay, that only did six. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and start using Thunder Shocks here. Don't want to use Tail Whip because of, um... Don't need to. Right. Rock... Okay, he missed. Awesome. Okay, so we're in a good spot here because now... Yeah, if he screeches, then I need to switch to Pidgeotto. Or Jet. <laughs> Jet. That's, that's a nickname. And he's par... Yes! Let's go, Ash! I'm doing this whole ro I am ser seriously, I'm just doing this role-playing wrong. Like, this was way too much strategy for Ash. I would've just kept tackling. That's it. That's all I needed to do, is just keep tackling and somehow I'd win. Look, he's missing! Oh, this is great! And all my Pokémon are so underleveled. I mean, I guess I should've trained, is that what they wanted me to do? But... I mean, they didn't give me enough trainers to really train that much, so... That's... That's really the reason why I'm not as leveled as I should be. Especially when I have to catch... Ash's Pokemon got three of them so far. Well, in theory, I got about five because <laughs> Caterpie evolved into Butterfree. Justin, there we go. Look at this. Unfortunately, Steve wasn't here to, you know, enjoy this with us, but he was. He was in. He was here in spirit. And oh, that's when you critical hit. Okay, okay, Pikachu. There we go. Jet growing to level twelve. And Pikachu. Not even leveling up, just wanna make... I took you for granted, so I lost. To prove your victory, I can... ...fur on you this, the official Pokémon League Boulder Badge. Are you coming with me? 
Can you just tag along like at, like Misty? That'd be fun. Oh well. Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. Yeah. Wait, take this with you. And we got TM39, which is Rock Tomb or whatever. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we got a TM. That's awesome. And it's Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at its foe. Lowers its speed. Ash, I lost you. Beam in battle and being kind to all Pokemon. To tell you the truth, I get more pleasure from raising Pokemon than from making them battle. I don't care about being a great Pokemon trainer. I want to become the world's best breeder. But I can't leave here because I have to look after my brothers and sisters. Ash, I want you to take the boulder badge and fulfill my dream. Oh. Hey. Oh. Brock, you go follow your own dreams. My father? Aw. Huh. I couldn't become the great Pokemon trainer I wanted. And because I was such a failure, I was too ashamed to go back to my family. By the time I started taking care of my family, Brock, you go fulfill your dreams of mine. Then it's my time I started... Then it's time I started my journey to become the world's greatest breeder. Thank you for everything, Ash. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Do I... Am I supposed to talk to you? I think I am. Hey. How's it going? I've decided to watch over my children from now on and let Brock pursue his dream. You know, don't they call child services for things like that? I just wanna... Is is Brock in my... Is, like, Brock and Misty in my backpack now? Is that how this works? I, do I find them in my inventory? I feel like I would. Are they here? Oh, there they are. Yeah, that's... That's that's Brock and that's Misty. Well, anyway, see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Ash Gray as we hopefully continue on our journey where we make friends in Mook Soup. Hmm, soup. See you all next time.